Hi, this is Mr Whitehouse from the Samsung Digital Academy and this is a video for Harbour Academy students to show them how to log in to the new VLE, Firefly. Now, a, a VLE, if you've not used one before, is an online space really where teachers, uh, administrators, the whole of the school really can put information uh, about the school in general but also more specifically about your su particular subjects. And so that might be uh, resources for you to revise, or it could be homework tasks, um, anything, uh, videos, uh, Word documents, PDFs, uh, anything the teacher thinks will be particularly useful uh, for you to learn. And that information that on Firefly will grow uh, throughout this year and certainly through next year. So this video is to get you started really, to show you how to log in. Now, when you first log into your student computer, uh, you will get two tabs opening in the screen, one being the Harborn Academy website and the other one you will now see the Firefly login page. It doesn't actually say Firefly anywhere because it says Harborn Academy because we've branded it as Harborn Academy. It says Firefly down there. First of all, I'll show you from the website. So if you're at home and you haven't got that link, go to the very bottom of the page and right in the bottom left corner you'll see Firefly. Click on that and that will open exactly the same page that was in that second tab there. And you don't want to type anything in these boxes here where it says cloud users. The staff log in that way but not the students. You're going to log in through this method through Office 365 because you all have emails uh, through the Office 365 system. So click on that and that opens a Microsoft portal where you can log in. And this is where you need to log in with your student email address. Now, some of you might not know what your email address is, but all it is, is your, uh, your, your number that you use to log into the computer. So if your number was 12345, you would type that at academy dot co dot uk do watch the spelling of that if you miss out sort of like an e or an a from the middle there it won't recognize it and then your password is the password that you use to log into the computers uh, and then when you click sign in just here uh, it will usually the first time you go in uh, a pop-up will appear that says do you allow access to this app uh, just confirming that it's okay to take you to the firefly website and just click uh, allow and you'll go straight into Firefly. Right, so here is the view of the Firefly dashboard that you'll get when you first get into Firefly. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit here, you can see that there's some quick links here to take you through. I'll come back to those in a moment. Uh, you may see some announcements and messages here, some tasks that have been set by a teacher. You may get some posts, comments and edits if you sort of follow a certain page. Um, you'll see here, uh, I haven't got it because I'm not a student, but you will see your timetable or your lessons will appear there. And then at the bottom of the page, you'll see uh, a Google Calendar, which will show all the important events that are coming up that you need to know about. So holidays, uh, trips out, anything like that, uh, exam dates when they start to to come so you'll see more dates appearing on there very shortly going back up to those links uh, that we've got on here uh, we've got links to the homework bus stop on the website quick link to your emails we have a quick link to GCSE pod there's one to Kahoot there if your teacher likes to play Kahoot quizzes um, and then uh, you can there's a little contact us by email box there if you want to get in touch with uh, the Academy but I want to just mention GCSE pod briefly now, for those of you who are year 10 and 11, uh, GCSE pod, as you already know, is a brilliant system to revise, whether it's on your, your phone or your tablet at home, when you're on the go. The lovely thing about Firefly is, though, is that there's a single sign-on link from Firefly to GCSE pod. So what this means is, is when you select that GCSE pod link, it will automatically load you into your account. So I'm logged in at the moment. So this should take me straight through to my teacher login dashboard for GCSE pod. And there's, there it is there. I know it's me because my name's there. It will do the same thing for you. 
it will say welcome back and your first name it will say instead of Mr and Miss at the top. Uh, so that's how you get to GCSE pod very quickly because I know a lot of students have forgotten passwords and things like that. So as long as you know your Firefly password, um, which is the same as your computer password at school, it just means you can get to things a little bit quicker. Let's close that down for now. Um, how it's arranged, across the top of the screen here, we've got it broken down into year groups and then by subject area. So year eight there, year nine, GCSE, A to H, so R to the beginning to, there's one section there for home languages. Uh, and then we go from ICT up to statistics and there's a little revision tips page there as well. We have BTEC, A level, and at the very, very end, there's an info page there. Um, that will include anything that's not strictly a curriculum subject. So you get things there on, on careers uh, and things like that. Uh, staff will see a few more links than you might do. Uh, and we may even add a few through the year. We're still in the early stages of adding things uh, that for you to access. Um, how the pages are laid out. If I take you to GCSE Geography, because we've just put a lot of material on for GCSE Geography. You will see lots of resources and lesson plan, uh, not lesson plan, sorry, lessons uh, and materials for you to use either in your lessons or outside. So I'm choosing lessons and topics. And this is where if your teacher is using it to give materials to you, you will find all of the materials they have put for you. So we have here extreme environments, geographical skills, uh, and so on. If I choose one of those categories, it expands the folder out and we see uh, the, the more uh, broken down into lessons here. So number one, classifying extreme environments. If I choose that one, we will now see a, a PowerPoint link there that you can open. Uh, oh, and this is a, this is actually PowerPoint. And this brings me to another fabulous point about Firefly is that uh, you don't need Office to view uh, Word, PowerPoint documents and PDFs. They actually appear in the screen. Uh, so if we were to move our way through this the PowerPoint, we can view it like that. And if you were to click that button down there, it would open it full screen so you could see it clearer, which is probably more useful if you have a Word document in there. Uh, so there's lots of materials in there. And in every subject area, um, I've added, just to get us started, some quick link resources, uh, mainly links to websites and things like that, or, or past papers. So in this one, I've put links to BBC Bite Size, GCSE Pod, and some past papers that go straight to the website uh, for, um, for the relevant exam board that, that you're studying. Okay, so that's a walkthrough of just the basic logging in and introduction to navigating around the platform. If you have any questions about Firefly or any sort of online resources that we have at the, uh, the Academy, uh, please do come and ask me in the Samsung suite or speak to one of the IT technicians. Okay, good luck with it and we'll see you shortly for more support with using tasks and more advanced features.